Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining me. We're back on that little uh, Philco model uh, 611. Anyway, you can see I've uh, got the uh, radio playing now. And uh, there's the uh, filter choke that um, I just uh, rewound. Let me go through uh, some of the components here that uh, were defective, and I'm sure there's many more. Again, this was just a quick repair to get the radio to uh, play. It needs to be uh, completely recapped and uh, all the uh, out of tolerance resistors need to be replaced as well. And I'm sure there's a bunch of them. I've already uh, swapped out uh, I think four uh, just in quick uh, order just to make the uh, radio play. Um, anyway, everything was kind of a rat's nest back in this area, and again, this is only a repair, so there's still a lot of wires and stuff um, uh, put together here with some uh, heat shrink and uh, some silicone tape, uh, just so I can get access back here uh, later on. So uh, this is not a uh, permanent uh, restore and or uh, repair. It's just kind of a temporary repair to get the radio going just to make sure we don't have any other uh, fundamental uh, core issues with uh, transformers, um, oscillator coils, etc. Best I can tell, everything's in uh, great shape. Including uh, this old Candome resistor. And this thing really generates the heat here on the back plane. So uh, that needs to be replaced uh, down the road as well. Anyway, all these wires you saw kind of sticking up in this area that were loose again. One lead came off of the uh, uh, filter choke, which was open. And uh, the others went back over here to uh, one of the uh, capacitors right here. So uh, this radio's got uh, two 16 microfarad uh, caps. And then there's a, a dual uh, 10 microfarad uh, cap. I haven't taken the time to uh, restuff those. Uh, what I did was put terminal strips on top of the uh, chassis. I'll uh, flip it around and show you guys that in just a moment. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, tack those down out there uh, before going to the trouble of uh, restuffing those cans. I think all but one of the cans are original. Uh, one is a uh, Mallory, the others. Uh, actually tie back to the original uh, Philco documentation which is cool. So uh, moving along again I checked some of these resistor values they're about 25 percent high in some cases. Um, some that were critical to the operation of the radio that I had to replace are over here on this section itself uh, that feeds the uh, 75 tube. My um, voltage here to the plate was extremely uh, low and uh, this series of uh, resistors here had to be replaced. And uh, you'll also notice I have a capacitor here tacked in from uh, the center point back over to here. The actual uh, circuit itself that it should be attached to is from this point uh, back to here. And this actually goes back again to one of these, uh, you know, Bakelite blocks here. Uh, matter of fact, right here and uh, that capacitor internally is shorted so um, that's a problem as well so what I've done is uh, just notate that here on the tag and also I'll notate that on the schematic itself that will follow this radio along and I've tacked in a, another uh, cap I think this was a 0 0.1 the schematic called for a 0 0.15 um, from this uh, center point back to here uh, which electrically is the same location as over here. So kind of confusing when you look at the schematic and you know your parts way over here, um, but electrically I can tie in here and achieve my uh, objective. Um, the other thing, and again, somebody had worked in here on the radio. It was uh, one of these old cloth uh, power uh, resistors in place, and uh, it came off the uh, cathode of the uh, tube. Uh, back over here with the uh, 43 tube but someone had tacked it in to the plate of uh, the 75 tube and uh, it looked original but um, I could tell after looking at the schematic for a bit that it was uh, tied into the wrong location so um, 
here you can see I just stuck a uh, 5 watt uh, 400 ohm in to uh, replace the old resistor. And by the way, when that resistor heated up, I checked the uh, DC resistance real quick. When it was still hot, it went up over 1 meg. Um, just shows you how these old uh, resistors uh, vary. Uh, let's see. And this capacitor right here was missing as well over on the uh, 43 tube. Somebody had cut it out completely. So um, I just uh, stuck another one in there for now. Again, I'm sure um, the majority, well, I would expect, uh, excluding the mica caps, all these other caps to be uh, defective. And uh, the micas, you know, some of those uh, may need to be replaced as well. So um, again, that's the uh, underneath side for now into a uh, until more time can be spent and a complete uh, restore done. Uh, but at least it's uh, in a working condition now. Again, just threw on an old line cord that I had. And I uh, did take time to do the old uh, UL knot uh, based on some uh, feedback that I received, I think, from uh, Dick in a uh, previous video. Told him I'd start making that uh, habit for me. But again, this needs to be uh, replaced with more of a uh, cord that would be uh, correct for the period. Let me uh, flip this back over and I'll show you the uh, top side. Again, uh, I just blew the dust off. I haven't done any cleaning on the chassis at this point. And uh, there's a lot of work there to be done. Okay, here's the uh, capacitors again that I referenced just a bit ago that I put on top of the uh, chassis for now. Um, didn't have to drill any holes or anything. I'm actually using the um, the fasteners themselves that come through for uh, both of the uh, filter chokes. And uh, let's see, it's a uh, four lug uh, terminal strip and it uh, just worked out perfect. I've got one over here on this side, one on this side, and I've got um, 116 here, 116 here, actually a 15 and a 15. The schematic calls for a 16. That's the closest I had in my uh, stockpile. And then um, the uh, two tens, one here, one here. And uh, kind of neat uh, the way it laid out. Again, I didn't have to uh, modify the uh, chassis whatsoever. I was corresponding with uh, Larry, Back to the Future Radios, and uh, he saw the uh, photo of it because he had uh, pinged me this morning and said, hey, you got that thing playing yet? What's the update on the choke? And, uh, you know, he said, uh, maybe you can just build a little small metal can and go around it. But um, I think if I get to the point uh, my dad wants to do a, a restore on it, I'll take the time to uh, take these off now and uh, get those gutted and get the uh, modern day caps in there. And again, there's uh, really uh, no change or modification to the chassis itself here, which is a uh, cool thing. Um, I failed to mention too, the uh, 25Z5 rectifier tube was uh, toast. I had to uh, replace it and the uh, 43 output tube uh, was also uh, bad. It was uh, shorted and uh, defective. Uh, let's see, the other um, three tubes, they were uh, good. Um, I'll, no, I'll take that back. I had to uh, replace the uh, 75 tube right here as well. Um, but the other two were uh, just fine. So this thing uh, really does play really well. And um, I haven't touched the uh, RF alignment and uh, I'm not, uh, I don't plan to do so at this point in time because it's playing so well into a uh, make a decision to go forward with a uh, you know restore on it at some point in time. The dial tracks uh, perfect. Uh, there's some uh, local stations here in uh, my marketplace and they are spot on. And uh, the short wave band was very very active uh, this morning. So uh, look forward to uh, playing it some more. But anyway I thought I would uh, share that with you guys. Um, I'll get this over uh, to my dad, and like I said, he's going to work his magic on the cabinet. I haven't even had a chance to see the cabinet yet. And I think his plans are for now just to uh, place it back in there and play it periodically, then uh, we'll make a decision down the road. 
you know, if and when it's time to uh, do a restore on it. I'll uh, put all this documentation uh, with it so it's not uh, lost and I'll make uh, copies of this myself just in case I'm the lucky individual to come back and uh, work on this in the future. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Again, this was a, a quick uh, two-part video series on a uh, Philco Model 611.